Hello everybody and welcome back to more political chatter. In this video we will be talking about the approval rating of Joe Biden and how it is at its lowest point ever in his presidency. So in the 538 aggregate of all of these polls that ask Americans, you know, everyday Americans, do you approve or disapprove of Joe Biden? His approval rating on average today, June 10th, currently stands at uh, 37.6%, while the disapproval rating, people who say that they disapprove uh, of the um, uh, job of Joe Biden, is at 56.6%. Now, that's an 18.9% net for the disapprove option, and you see that number for the approval. 37.6% of Americans approve of him. Now, this is historically low. I mean, this, like, when you look Back in history, there are very few, if any, um, I don't even know if there are any, who manage to do this poorly uh, when it comes to approval right now. And this should be very worrying for the Biden campaign because we are approaching an election season. You see that, like most presidents, they start off right after they're inaugurated with what they call a honeymoon period where they are approved of for a bit because they haven't done anything yet. But then you see very quickly for Joe Biden, things turned uh, to the negative side and the disapproval rating overtook the approval rating. It continued to decrease. And it was um, this point right here, uh, June or July 11th, for quite a while, that remained his, his lowest point ever. And then I forget why there was something. I think this was when the economy was improving or maybe it was because of Roe being overturned. That could be an option, a possibility. But um, his approval rating did go up a bit. But then we see that it gradually continues to go down and down and down and today he is at the lowest approval rating that he has been throughout his entire presidency today the least amount of americans approve of him than ever before in his presidency now that should be an incredibly worrying sign for the biden campaign because i mean just look at uh we could go four years here to make it easier to see just look at donald trump now, I'll mind you, Donald Trump lost the 2020 election. Joe Biden beat Trump in 2020. And you see that, uh, despite that, at this t point in history, uh, four years ago, Donald Trump had a higher approval rating than Joe Biden. Trump, at this time, four years ago, June 10th, 2020, had an approval rating of 40.8%. Biden has an approval rating of 37%. 0.6%. And Trump lost re-election. So now we have a president who is fight, you know, fighting for re-election, who at this point has an even lower approval rating than his predecessor, who also lost re-election to Biden, um, I will mind you. So, you know, especially he's facing off against the same guy, and it was a narrow win in 2020. Uh, that is under discussed. The electoral vote wasn't that close, but when you look at the swing states, it was a very close election. But, I mean, that's important. Today, Donald Trump, or four years ago today, Donald Trump had a higher approval rating than Joe Biden. And, uh, again, this is a Donald Trump who is running again against Biden in 2024. He is the presumptive nominee. It will be Donald Trump against Joe Biden. So his approval rating when he was president is so relevant. You see that um, at this point in, um, let's see, June... Here, you can see the date on the bottom there, about right here, June 9th, we'll call it, because I can't get on 10. But uh, he had an approval rating of 41.1%, disapproval of 45.8%, somewhat substantially worse than um, than uh, Joe Biden. And this was during the midst of COVID, I will mind you. This was during the middle of the COVID pandemic, when hundreds of thousands of Americans were dying. And the economy had completely tanked. And you would think that Donald Trump would be, com you know, just his approval ratings would be like nothing we have ever seen before in terms of, you know, how hated he was. But that is not the case. And not only were the approval ratings solid during this time, even during COVID, they were higher than Joe Biden. So clearly some Joe Biden is doing something so, so wrong when it comes to his presidency because he can just not get americans on his side and again i will mind you this is during the um this is during an election year and this tweet um i think 
really sums it up perfectly. So, you know, we've got the Biden's approval rating hits uh, in the all-time low in his presidency. This person, quote, tweets it with all-time low approval in June of an election year. I mean, we're not talking about how serious this is. Democrats need to wake up when it comes to his approval rating. You know, we don't lo- like to look at approval rating, um, but and we only, you know, like to look at the state polls, which also favor Trump. But when, you know, when it's worse than Trump's four years ago during COVID, you've got a problem because Biden is just not connecting with the American people. He is just not. And, you know, it's not looking good in polling either. This is perfectly demonstrated in polling. You see that in the five-way matchup today, on average, Joe Biden, sorry, Donald Trump is ahead by 2% nationwide, 2%. Now, sure, that's small. But look, four years ago, on June 10th, 2020, this same aggregate, this same average of polling, Biden was ahead by 81 I don't care what anyone says, this this difference, you know, the popular vote, this poll was way off from the popular vote in 2020. This will also probably be way off from the popular vote in 2020. Biden still probably wins the popular vote. But still, regardless, these are the same pollsters running the same types of polls. And an, a 10-point shift in the national popular vote polling the, whoever has the lead in the popular vote, there was a 10-point shift it, from 2020. On this day in history, it was Biden plus 8. Today, it's Trump plus 2. Trump is doing 10% better nationally in polling than he was in 2020. This completely goes in line with this approval that we are seeing. I mean, you know, just the nation as a whole. We can look at swing states, sure. But the nation as a whole really hates Joe Biden. And, you know, I've been talking a lot how I believe that, you know, the the Republicans, it's always the Republicans who win the presidency, but the Democrats win the popular vote. That happened in 2016. It happened in 2000. But I think that there could be a reverse because Biden still does stand a chance in this election. Uh, He could, you know, he has a really good chance of winning the electoral vote in 2024. When you look at the states, he... It's not doing bad at all in Pennsylvania compared to other states. Not doing that bad in Michigan. I, you know, he could he could hang on to those both. Uh, he's not doing uh, too too awful in Arizona. I mean, he is in polling, but I still think that he could win that state very narrowly, and that would hand him the presidency just like that. He doesn't need to invade Georgia and Wisconsin. So there is a path to victory for Joe Biden. Now, what I have been saying, what I was getting to before. Um, is that I think that Biden could win the presidency and win the Electoral College, but actually lose the popular vote, which is a reversal of what we have been, you know, of what we see in recent political history. It's it's always the opposite. And that is because, and this, you know, relates to this low approval rating nationwide and, and, you know, his low um, poll numbers nationally, the difference from 2020 to 2024 nationally, is the... Uh, depression of vote in blue urban areas because these are younger voters who, you know, number one, don't like Biden's age, but a lot of these younger voters are progressives who are being turned away from the Biden campaign because of his stance on the Israel-Gaza situation. You know, they are very pro-Palestine when Joe Biden, you know, is still funding um, this war for Israel against Palestine, against Gaza and Hamas. So I think that, you know, Biden's loss of support in deep blue urban areas that he will win anyway in the electoral college that's why i say that that he could lose the popular vote because that you know there's a lot of voters in these urban areas and his vote could be completely suppressed in those areas very minimal but he still wins all of those electoral votes from those states in the in the electoral college you know that's like chicago that's los angeles that's New York City, but he still wins Illinois, California, the state of New York, uh, in the Electoral co- College. So he could win the presidency, but lose the popular vote. And that would be very, very interesting to see. And again, I think that goes in line with the approval rating. You know, these are national, um, uh, this is the national approval, right? Um, and that's why I do think that Biden still does stand a chance. And really, even in my uh, last prediction, last month, I did have Biden winning. I had Biden winning the election by winning Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Arizona. But, I mean, with these new numbers, with Biden's approval only continuing to sink, with him being, you know, less approved of 
um, right now than Trump was at this point in his presidency. With this 10-point shift in the national polls from in polling, you know, even though he could still win um, a majority in the Electoral College but lose the popular vote, I don't see it. I would change my prediction if I did one today, and I will be doing one soon. I just don't see how Biden could win with these numbers, considering that Trump lost in 2020. I don't see it. I think that um, I would change my prediction in Arizona for sure, which already hands Trump a victory. And I would definitely consider um, giving Michigan and and slash or Pennsylvania to Trump. So th- that's my thoughts about this whole thing. Uh, Joe Biden approval rating or lowest approval rating uh, ever in his presidency. So thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Helps a lot. It helps out a lot if you subscribe and all that. Again, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.